Modernism began in Chicago when Lewis Sullivan stated, form follows function. In the age of steel, big windows and taller buildings were possible. In Vienna, Otto Wagner proclaimed that the machine age should have a style of its own and launched the Vienna Secession, while Adolf Loos, a Sullivan devotee, denounced ornament his crime. The greatest disciple in Sullivan's Chicago office was Frank Lloyd Wright, who balanced machine age functionality with the harmony of nature. In 1911, Frank Lloyd Wright's Vasmut portfolio took Europe by storm, which greatly influenced young Rudolf Schindler and Richard Neutra, both students of Loos. Lowe's told Schindler and Neutra to seek out Wright in Chicago, so Schindler set forth in 1914. After serving in the First World War, Neutra went to Berlin to work for architect Erich Mendelssohn, just as Germany founded the Bauhaus School of Design and Le Corbusier was pioneering his theories, resulting in towards a new architecture. Richard Neutra left Berlin to work with Frank Lloyd Wright at the Taliesin Studio in Wisconsin. In 1920, Frank Lloyd Wright built a hollyhock house under the supervision of Schindler. Richard and Dione Neutra joined Schindler in Los Angeles in 1925. Together, Schindler and Neutra founded Southern California Modernism.